Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Mediterranean Goddess 1111. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you've already been joining me. Um, I just wanted to do, again, a quick reading. I like longer readings, but I like doing quick readings for you guys under 15 minutes so that you can get everything that you need in for information. Okay, I just wanna go into, I'm picking up, you guys, um, feminines, you have to love yourself first. I'm picking up codependency issues. For the divine masculine, I'm picking up uh, codependency issues with uh, substance abuse. And for feminines, I'm picking up codependency issues from childhood neglect and childhood ne abandonment. So in order for your love life to move in a smoother dynamic and in a better way, to be fulfilling for you, you've got to look within um, to see what is triggering you, okay? Um, if you need some guidance and help for inner healing, please hit up my galactic best friend. He lives in Australia. His name is Joey and he's with Soul Essence. Hi Joey, if you're watching, I just love you and I just thank you for everything. Thank you for um, your help. And you guys, um, everyone, if you want to invest in yourself, please hit Joey up. And if you want a personal reading, you can hit me up on my email. Um, I do a process of you have to send me a selfie first um, just because I want to know who I'm dealing with. I'm an empath, so... Um, my energy, like I, I feel people's energy and I, it's very, I get very sensitive to that. So, um, anyways, I'm very busy, but also I am choosy with, so I hate to say it like that, but please send me an email. I would love to help you, love to help you as much as I can. Okay. All right. Now I want to get started with the, um, we're going to do the sexual magic tarot and we're going to do the, this is the true heart intuitive tarot right here um the girl who did this is like the her name's like rachel true and she's she was on the craft or something like that i don't like all that witch stuff i don't get into all that i don't do I spell to me spell work is horrible and do what you want to do but honest to god that stuff comes back on you so especially if you're trying to mess with divine people. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Holy Spirit, I ask that whatever I need to say to the collective, that you will give me the words, and I know you do because my heart is open. You guys, I feel like an impression in my heart whenever I have to say things like I either hear like, the thought comes across my head or the impression comes across my heart or I feel the feeling. Like, it's like I feel what you feel. I know they have names like Claire this, clairvoyant, whatever, but I didn't look it up, but <laughs> anyway. You guys, I'm goofy half the time, all right? I, I love laughing. Anyways, okay, so let's get into the tarot. So I'm going to start with the intuitive true heart tarot, okay? I'm going to take three out of this deck. You guys know I always say three, sometimes more comes out. I go with my intuition on what to take and what not to take. And I do not like reversals, okay? Not that I don't like them, I just feel that there is a, uh, a, I don't wanna say positive and negative because that's a duality mind, mindset. So there's just, there's both sides to each card. However, if a card comes out in reverse and I feel like Spirit is telling me, oh, that's what it is, then I take it. So, okay, now that I said all that, 
I don't even know why I said all that so much. Okay, I'm gonna take three. Oh my gosh, those cards did not want to come out of my hand. Are these the three cards? Okay, they are. So these cards did not, like you guys just saw that, they like stuck to my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them. So bottom of the deck, I got seven of wands. So feminines, you guys are standing your ground. And I'm proud of you for that. I'm proud of you for standing your ground. Um, you can stand your ground without being so defensive. I mean, you can, you can be defensive, like as far as setting up boundaries, but you don't have to have walls up. Okay. There's a difference. We got the queen of swords, which that's you divine feminine. You're in your no bullshit attitude. It's just because you've learned to love yourself. And you don't need to take no bullshit from anybody. Divine Masculine is having a tower moment. Because he is not used to you cutting his ass off if you need to. But you're learning to love yourself. And so that's what you did. And that is making him have a tower moment. And a sudden change. For the four of wands, for the happy home, for the marriage, for the union, for the twin flames, for the 1111. See, every time even my phone falls like that when I'm recording, I know that's tower moment. Like, I've learned that just in the last few days. So, your divine masculine might be telling you that he doesn't like you or doesn't want anything to do with you, but he's suddenly, suddenly suddenly he comes to a devastating realization. Sorry, and it's devastating. I feel like he's real, real like Wants to kick himself in the ass. All right, guys. Sexual magic tarot. I know y'all been waiting for this. Don't lie. Okay, for some reason, these are upside down. What the heck? Eight of wands and six of cups. Aw. For some, I was going to split the deck into the three. And these were like upside. These were flipped over already. So we got six of cups, which is a past life relationship. And it's so cute because she's just looking at the picture of them making out. She she misses him because because you guys have been together for many 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 many. I don't even know what to call it. It's not even centuries because it's like infinite. You're from the creator together. You guys have been birthed from the creator together. And then this um, is, oh, it's eight of pentacles. For some reason I said eight of wands earlier. So again, that's fast moving energy, eight of wands. But this is eight of pentacles that he's willing to, well, you're working a lot feminine and so is he, but he's willing to put in the effort with you work towards something beautiful he wants to watch movies in the bed with you that's what i got like he wants to like watch movies in the bed with you and cuddle and just shack up with you what the heck okay he wants to shack up with you i guess he wants to move in <laughs> i just got shack up with you okay anyways okay guys Split the deck, I got the king of swords. His foot is all over her titty. Like, the king of swords, that's like, 
air sign energy. So picking up Gemini. But somebody's like peeking in going, are they messing around together? And he's like, he's like acting, look at his face. Can you guys see that? It, he's looking in the other direction like he ain't worried about her sexy ass, but his foot's all over her titty because he's trying not to show the other people that are looking in that he likes you, but damn it, he wants to fuck the shit out of you. Excuse my language. Yeah, on the other side, when I split the deck, it was the King of Cups. Here, he's ready to just let it be known who you are. Who you are to him. got the ace of pentacles right here so this is a new stable offer of love he wants to cherish every moment with you he wants to lay in bed with you like all saturday long just butt ass naked with your body up against his oh Holy moly, these cards are like flying, you guys. Okay, I'll just take these three cards that just came out and then do a bottom of the deck. So, bottom of the deck, we got Knight of Pentacles. And like, in this Knight of Pentacles, so Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy to come in. And like, He's making her, like, she's willing to drink from his cup. Like, she is, like, drowning in, in it. She doesn't mind. She loves it. Um, but he's hiding still. He's still hiding his feelings. And, look, her hand is so close to the freaking flame. She's like she's going to get burned. Divine Feminine feels like she's getting burned because she's, like, waiting forever, dude. It's fucking forever. Excuse my language. Man, I'm getting... I feel like a pissed-off energy. Like, wait, 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 wait. Waiting, waiting. Okay. Just have patience. Okay, Divine Feminine? Have patience for divine timing in your life. Okay, because it's going to happen naturally. It's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. With who it's supposed to happen. With this divine masculine or someone else if necessary because you deserve love either way. But I got um, three of pentacles, which is uh, working together as a team. He wants to even team up in different positions. Look at that position. That's lovely. He's willing to not only work with you as a team, but he's willing to take on most of the burden in the relationship so he can show you how, just how strong he is. And he wants to lift you up, not just physically, but he wants to lift you up. You are his queen. But right now, he's in hermit mode. He's looking at his little candle, trying to find his light. But his light, he believes his light is over there messing with somebody else. But, I mean, if he's going to just... It's good that he's in hermit mode because he's going to learn what his light is. But if he keeps taking forever with this Knight of Pentacles energy, I mean, somebody may swoop you up, Divine Feminine, if you allow it. And the last card. Aww. 
It's Nine of Cups, which is you are his wish fulfillment. And I was just studying this card. It's like, you're so voluptuous and he loves your body. He wants, like he, his face in this is he's so attentive to you. He wants to be attentive to your sexual needs and he wants to be attentive to what you need physically. He wants to make sure that just like you give him that abundant ass and that abundance of, of stability and love, and he wants to give you that in return. He wants to be attentive with giving you everything you need physically with money and things, but also with sex. He wants to make sure he, he um, pleases you um, that's his main goal. It's not to just bust a nut. It's to please you. So, okay, you guys, that's all I have for tonight with the sexual tarot deck. Um, I just appreciate you guys watching. And I am doing this because I feel called to do this. And I just want you guys to know that I'm here. And if you want a personal, hit me up. I want all of us to know that we are enough, okay? So like, share, and subscribe, you guys, and know that we are enough.